North Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I would like to thank the chairman of the full committee, uh, Chairman Royce, for his leadership, his kind words, but really for bringing forth this bill so that the American people can once again unify against what we all know is a blight on our country, a blight on our world. When terrorism prevails, we must stand firm. And I want to thank the chairman for his leadership on that. I also want to echo the, uh, the uh, comments of the ranking member, where he talked about this being a bipartisan effort. Indeed, uh, we have the chairman, the ranking member, taking a lead. Uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Schneider from Illinois, uh, working with us on this. And uh, today we have an opportunity to place a critical blow to Hezbollah. Uh, the committee uh, staff, our staff, has worked very hard for many, many months to make sure that this is a targeted bill. And so I rise today in support of H.R. 4411, the Hezbollah International Financing Prevention Act. But really what it's about, Mr. Speaker, is about making sure that those that are innocent are protected. Because as the chairman so eloquently put earlier, over 2,000 rockets have gone into Israel in the last few days. But today, some 20 to 30,000 rockets are aimed at Israel, and, and the trigger person, the trigger organization is Hezbollah. So we must uh, pass this legislation to make sure that what we can do is cripple their ability to finance and put people in harm's way. You know, Hezbollah has many different faces, Mr. Speaker. In some areas, they're called a charitable organization. In others, they're talked about as a political organization. In Latin America, they are talked about as ones who would traffic narcotics. In the North America, they are money launderers and counterfeit ring uh, producers. And yet what we have is many faces for Hezbollah but one soul. And that soul is dedicated to really eliminating a people off the face of this, this world. And so today I rise in support of this, asking my colleagues to join me to make sure that we send a clear message not only to the United States, but to the world as Some people would say, well, why should we be doing this? This may only deal with Europe or Israel or Syria. It doesn't really affect me. But I'm going to close with this, Mr. Speaker. These words are not my words. They're the words of the U.S. Attorney from the Western District of North Carolina, Ann Tompkins. And she was talking about Mohammed Hamoud, who was a student and a member of Hezbollah as a youth in his home country. And he came to the United States on a Hezbollah-driven mission, one that he loyally carried out, creating millions of dollars to send back for terrorism uh, in a faraway place. But it wasn't just a faraway place, because when he was waiting in jail, he ordered the death of a prosecutor who was prosecuting him ordered the bombing of a courthouse in Charlotte, North Carolina. So if it's not for Israel and it's not for Syria and it's not for Europe or Latin America, maybe it's for the United States of America. Let's come together and make sure that we pass this critical piece of legislation and I yield back.